Hello, Mark Crossfield here. So today we're going to talk a little bit about posture. I've got uh, four students who have uh, sent me their swing through my iPhone app called Golf, which is just here, there. Um, you've got the four students, hopefully you're seeing them just here. Here they are. Um, we're going to talk a little bit, there's similarities in each uh, one of these students, what they're doing wrong with their posture. I'm going to show you how that affects your swing for the worse and how it influences the whole shape of your swing. So let's get out uh, and uh, show you exactly what they're doing wrong. So we've got the four students here and what we're seeing is a similar setup in each player. We're seeing the shoulders falling down very close towards the toes where really if we take player two here for instance your shoulders should be forward of your toes at address so you should be posi positioning your weight much more onto the balls of your feet. So for all four golfers here starting with the weight pretty much back on the heels because they're not really leaning into the ball well enough and it causes the same problem with each golfer. So Go for one here, I'm just going to put a line on the back side. Go for two here, same thing, just put a line on the back side. Three, same, and also four, the same. So we've got the line here coming down from the front of their shoulders, also one on the back side. So let's go play a one. Starting with the weight on the heels, we see the club disappear behind them quite quickly. Then if we come down into impact position, we see the classic hips driving forwards. So not forwards as in towards your target, but forwards as into the right as we look at the screen here. Player two. Not too bad, get a little bit stuck behind you on the backswing, similar to player one. Also what happens then as you come through, we see the massive hip push forwards. Player three, backswing's a bit more on plane. Follow through, similar issues, hips really loading forwards, so towards the right, in towards the ball, not towards the target. And also player four, we see the club going a little bit behind you a little quick, but not too bad, but we see the same issue on the downswing where the hips want to push towards the ball. So. Coming from this poor setup position, what we're seeing is we're seeing a hip drive that goes forwards um, rather than towards a target and a change of spine angle. That change of spine angle is going to create very poor strikes, certainly struggle with direction as well. So let's get out onto the range and give you guys the fix to try and sort this problem out. Okay guys, the fix. What we're seeing here then is the it's all around this posture that you're generating, so it's much more shoulders kind of over your toes, hands are out in front of your shoulders, and then your whole swing is built more around kind of this model. This is obviously exaggeration, but it's much more kind of around here, where you're going to see better players turning much more around this kind of model. And the biggest difference here is this tilting forwards from the waist, this leaning over the ball, getting this better spine angle where your shoulders are ahead of your toes, uh, backside, back of your heels. So you're really centered more in the middle of your feet, balls of your feet leaning forwards. And then it's all built around trying to turn more around this angle, opposed to this upright hands out more rounded angle. So it's posture, posture, posture for you guys. Got to be thinking about starting your swings. And a good way of practicing this is in front of mirrors, just looking at yourself, just getting a feel for your posture with your shoulders falling in front of your toes. Really feel that you're almost pushing your belt buckle. So I've got a belt here on these trousers. Feeling like I'm tilting my belt here down towards the ball. For lots of you, you're more here. So your belt buckle shoots out in front of you. You've got to be trying to push your belt buckle down towards the ball. And then during your swing, really trying to feel that you're staying in that posture, staying over the ball, keeping that backside out, shoulders forward kind of position on the way through as well got to start thinking about turning your weight onto your left heels so really turning your left pocket back and out throwing the weight back onto your left heel as you come through finishing in the position where you still got that bit of spine angle that bit of lean get rid of finishing quite upright great way of practice this like I say is in front of mirror you can do it two ways so I can see myself in the reflection here so you pretend you're still in front of a mirror face the mirror Take your posture really soon, look at your spine angle, get the feeling of pointing your, your belt buckle down to the ball. Make your practice swing, so I'm just doing it with this stick here, and in your end position, really see how far you can push your left pocket out to the left side here. Feel that weight finishing on your heel, feel your left pocket pushing out to the left side as I'm stood here, and look at yourself in the mirror, really watching this spine angle. You're better off doing this movement 
in front of a reflection, taking the ball out of the equation, because it's, it's about stretching. It's almost like doing exercises. You don't want to be doing these exercises while trying to perform the task of hitting the ball until you feel you can actually get into these positions and your body can stretch into them. Because the positions you guys are finishing in basically is physically much friendlier, straighter back. The position you need to finish in for a better player gets into is physically more demanding. Left hip stuck out, spine angle leaning over. So get in front of reflection. Try and think about the way you're turning around this better posture. It's all built around this posture out here, hitting the ball this way. Let me know how you go, guys. Post a comment down below. Let me know if that works or doesn't for you. Thanks for watching. Thanks for getting the app. Uh, we'll see you all in the next video, guys, and uh, hopefully the rain would have stopped by then. See you soon.